Have you played Multiverses, Gan? I downloaded it this morning while I was waiting to get my landlord rent. You're just waiting around for your landlord? I, I played on the beta. I mean, and we then, all played on the beta. And then, yeah, You're a beta played. if you didn't play on the beta. Boo. I have to leave now. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I tr tried out Jason Voorhees. It's pretty sweet, pretty fun. Oh, but you played it. Yeah. You, you've played it uh, yeah. today yeah. since it's yeah. been out? Yeah, okay. this morning. Before I went to work. I don't think I'm going to. I don't know. The fall off is. I just dive in at interest. <sighs> I it didn't lost interest have... by how they yeah. handled the beta. It just this guy plays two K, <laughs> mind you. Yeah, yeah. Same game every Chase year. Chase plays Persona. Still don't get it. So. Persona Still don't is get one of the most it? critically acclaimed like JRPGs in the world. Is and I made LeBron Junior? retire because we're not. I made LeBron retire. So <laughs> come you on did, now. personally. <laughs> Well, no, LeBron is like minutes away from retiring. Come on. Oh, no. Now. We swept him in the first round of the playoffs, me and the Clippers. I don't want to get then... into the lore of I'm just your him. my player. I'm just him. I'm MP. I'm him. Persona 6 coming out, though. A lot of leaks are coming out. It's going to be insane. Adrian, I want to yeah. see you dunk in real life. I want to. Uh, I'll dunk my nuts in your mouth. See, like the joke Oreos. is, audience, even, Adrian's 5'7. Even that, you have the job. <laughs> you think we get a I got, I got bunnies. I got hops. I could probably. I don't think I can dunk. I could probably touch a rim, but I don't think I can dunk. You can eat rim. <clears throat> Anyways, I'll, I'll, show, I'll give you something to rim. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, is he We're a multiverse character? Christ. LeBron Who? James. No. Yeah. LeBron James is, but <laughs> is. I was. I'll retire Jesus him in that Christ. game too. <laughs> So far, Jesus. so good. Jesus. Not yet. I'm sure he'll make his way okay. in. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I also... I, I just, want Jesus to be added to Smite. That would be hilarious. We've already talked about it. Jesus I know, knows this. I know we've talked to him. Uh, I was going to say, like, one? God, but every depiction of God I can think of is like that's Zeus. just whenever i think of like the christian god i think see, of Zeus. that's the thing though like, it's Bain. called smite it's called smite battleground of the gods you can't just be like here's god like it's multiple yeah, gods that's, all of them are gods yeah you're right yeah i mean you're right you're right that it doesn't make sense i'm trying to think of what other type what other gods they because they've, they've got like over 100 i feel like they haven't missed that there's no gods to add i think at this point really <laughs> Well, I mean, they keep coming out with them, and they're making a whole new game. They better come out with new gods. They've only, they've only really scratched the surface on Japanese. That is true. That yeah. is very true. Japanese there's has there's Sukuna? Like Sukuna? Oh, yeah. yeah. You got Sukuna? Oh, man. That would go nuts. <laughs> I got a counter for that. I was saying Sukiyomi. But... Sukiyomi. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sukiyomi. Um, Sukiyomi's Arien. Amaterasu. Those are the only... There's like... Five, I think. I don't know. I don't feel like looking this up. I'm gonna look this Every, up. Every <laughs> like thing in Naruto is named after like a Japanese god. Uh, let's see. The Japanese like, gods they have in Smite are Amaterasu, uh, Baki, Kujira, Donsabaru, Hachiman, Izanami, Kuzunbo, Rajin, Susano, and Tsukiyomi. I feel Susan like that's still not because he has the Zuko skin. I feel like there's more. I feel like there's like still another like 10, 15. Yeah, there's a, I, they have to have more gods, especially with them making a whole new, brand new game. They got to add new gods. Yeah, I feel like there's other pantheons that they're really like. The Babylonian, I feel like they've only really scratched the surface and Gilgamesh. And, and then, Tiamat are the only two. <laughs> Gilgamesh, Tiamash, or Tiamat. I think yeah. they all. I think they got the Greek mythology down though. <laughs> yeah, they beat that shit to death. And Roman, Greek yeah. and Roman. Well, yeah. even then they added like demigods and um, like yeah, like mythos. Achilles. Yeah, like Jesus, Achilles. 
Achilles, Hercules, um, um, Merlin Cow. That's more human from the, from the Arthur, right? Yeah, their their whole pantheon is like human. Are the Arthurians yeah. like Arthur is just a dude with a magical sword? Yeah. yeah. If you're going with the pure mythos of it, and then same with uh, what's the other one? Achilles was She's just like the, the king of Mordred, right? Was Achilles king of Mordred? I think he, he's, Mordred, he's not like Demi. Was this, Mor- Mordred he was, was the son his mom of was a god. Arthur. I thought. Or, okay. Was son of Arthur. I'm having, I got see. I don't know shit about Arthurian shit. shit. You know what I do know about though? No oh, man. <laughs> God. Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another episode of the Something Original Podcast. <laughs> My name is Adrian, oh. and in our virtual studio, we're joined with our other host, Yes, and Gannon. That is all welcome I'm back, saying. all ladies and gentlemen, believers and non-believers. Oh, I'm not going to copy Drake. We, we're off that shit. I'm disappointed that you would even utter utter that. I know, mm-hmm. I know. I'm sorry. It's just like he was like the person who memed, you know, and the internet would take everything he would say and make it a meme. But does he mean what is what it, he the said? I can't get that out of my head. I'm sorry. They, they're not going to be able to see it, but on Riverside, we can make up our own names, and every episode, we come up with a different name. Um, Gannon's been the same for a while. Mine's been the same for a couple episodes. Uh, Adrian comes up with a new one every single episode. Some pizzazz for the guys, you know? Just... It's an inside joke. To lighten the mood but once, before we start recording. Once, you know? we have an ep- once we have an editor, we'll include that stuff. But do you, we don't have one. Hold on. What are you doing over there, Gan? He's signaling to the Illuminati. Why are you flipping me off upside down? What are you doing? What is this? That, that, that's a gang sign. <laughs> is it? I think he's just Not Batman. Really. Oh, man. <laughs> I can never Where's do that. I've actually never been able to do that. Like, I can't like Where's bend you? my wrist. I can't bend my arm back enough for some reason. Like, you want to talk about how you uh, embarrass LeBron James, but you can't even flick your wrist? <laughs> it's not really a flick. It's more of a turn. You shoot. You flick. Turn you flick. Oh, yeah. I have a 75% three-point rate right now. 73.5% so. fail rate. The highest in league history for a season was like 42, 43%. So I'm in there. Like, swim there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right, Adrian, here's your 30 Look seconds. You can talk rest. about sports and only sports for 30 seconds. Do it right now. Oh, hold on. Wait. I thought this 30 seconds was for me to talk about anything. Anything? Okay. Hold on. I'll time it. Hold on. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Go ahead. All right, the government is all, they're lying to you. They're lying to you. The companies, they're lying to you. They're all monopolies. They're all intertwined. They're all owned by each other. They all own each other. You think BlackRock and Vanguard are the end, the end point and the end game of all this monopoly and, and government control? No, they're only pieces that own each other. Okay, the only the only true ones at the top are the people who make these decisions and sit on the committees and control these companies and have them buy each other and do this and that so they can have money and control us. And that's all the time we have. Thank you, Adrian. And now on to our next contestant, Gannon, with the weather. Today in Ohio, it's looking like a nice mild day, high 70s. Going into the late evening, we're going to probably have um, some sunshine. Um... I don't know what the weather's like in any other state, um, because the common knowledge is what I'm given. Is it actually 70 there, or is it, you're just going off of vibes? It's 70. Is 
72 here. Hey, look at Adrian. He's going to fact check you. No, I was well, looking at because I was like 70. I think it's 70 here too. Just saying that's neat. That's neat. I think it's 70 here as well. Yeah. Ohio is everywhere. Everywhere is Ohio. <laughs> I've said it before and I will say it again. Uh, everybody's <laughs> like, because I tell them I'm like, oh, I'm from Ohio. I live out in Colorado now. They're like, oh, like, do you like it a lot more? I was like, yeah, you know, it's pretty, but I mean, <laughs> it's Ohio, but with a mountain. Yeah. It, I mean, it's just, and I think that's everywhere, honestly. You got to like Southern Ohio. Florida's just Ohio with beaches and tree, palm trees. That, that, that's what I was going to say. Ohio is just, and or Florida's just Ohio with like exotic creatures. You guys got gators in Ohio? Mm-hmm. But how often do you encounter them in the wild? Because we've often. had to call because we had a gator across the canal right behind our house. Like, because it's just sitting Picture there. Happen. Picture uh, I got I to gotta text my friend TJ because it was like directly behind his house. Um, I got to see um, if he has well, the picture because I remember we took videos and pictures. Sounds like, sounds like he made up. <laughs> Do you want to know his last if name? If he's not, he's not drop made his up. address. <laughs> drop his address. I'm not going to drop his last name, but no, he's a family friend. He, he, they, they can knew my brother and sister too. Drop his address. Dox him. Uh, if he's a real person, you would dox him. <laughs> I know his social Knowing security you, number is. They Speaking go to an island. Real, real quick, I want to show off this shirt because I love this shirt. I, I, I love this shirt. I love like the split T design. Yeah. Oh yeah, check check out this shirt off. too. Editor, input a cool merch graphic in the shirt. Uh, I'm wearing my Harley Davidson dog shirt. Hey, I wanted to like take a second. Look at that. I love this. I got this the at Ross solid too. color. <laughs> if that's I got actually, this for like nine bucks put that at Ross. shirt. No, put that shirt closer. What is that fucking shirt? Is that a fucking? That's a fun, I like that it's shirt. A dog. I fuck with that shirt. There's a dog with goggles. Well, dude. make it stretch it out so we can actually see it. You're like making no. Stop put pinching it, it come here. Up a little, pinch it up. Yeah, you're pinching it. Up here. it. You're pinching, you're pinching it, it in the middle. I can't see the head. No. It, I want to see the dog part. You. Fuck. Oh, he's got the little. It, oh, I gave him like the arm with the. That's cool. The little dude, tattoo. And he looks like my vest. grandpa. I like that shirt. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, he's sweet. It's one of my favorite shirts. Reminds me of a shirt right. I, I got from Walmart or stole from Walmart once. It was a cat shirt. It was like a cat with a crown with like the galaxy and stuff behind it. I fucking loved that shirt. It was so yeah, stupid. It was so 2009 of you. Yeah. It was like 2014. He like, stole the shirt, hopped in his car, started playing Metro Station. Shake, 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 shake it. The reference, the pull. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I actually, I actually didn't know so Metro Station right. made that song. Let, so. me guess. Let me guess you uh, put on checker. You were like wearing checker pants. Checker belt. Checker belt. Who? Who? Chase? Black jeans. You. No, you. When you stole this no. cat shirt. No. I never owned a checkered belt. How skinny were your skinny jeans? I still wear skinny jeans. I don't care. Oh, is it care. tight in there? Is it going to be tight in your mouth? Why are you looking? Why are you judging my pants? I've That's grown. All I say to people. I've grown to uh, appreciate my space and my draws. That's the thing. Not people me. think skinny jeans they have no room for junk. They do have room for your junk. Yeah, you no, I know. Little, you put to the left. Yeah, I mean, I've worn skinny jeans, but as I've gotten older, I don't get, I've realized I don't get like the skinny. I would skinny rather ones. have a little bit more breathe breathability i get the skinny style but sometimes but usually i'll go like a size up or something so it's not so fucking tight because i like the style i like because I, I usually like cuff the bottom of my jeans too it looks good on me so but i don't like i just I don't get paint super fucking my tight, jeans you know? on just paint my legs cover Chase, up. you look like you would wear jeggings cover it up yeah probably rock them 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'll wear jeggings. He's like, this is just my ploy to get Amazon, Jason some jeggings. Take it, take it out of my Amazon <laughs> wish list and. I'm just trying ordered. to go chase into some jeggings. Take a pic, Chase. 5,000 is quite light. I mean, he's at least his, then we'll start getting it in his paid. cart for a while. It's been in his cart waiting to get out of there. I don't care. For a while. I mean, it's just pants. 
Speaking of pants, um, what video games could be really good animes? Shut the f- <laughs> Why do you read it like that? I actually, whoa, that's a, hold on. We'll, we'll ignore how Gan read it. I actually like that topic. That's actually interesting. Red. We'll ignore Red. how Gan and re- read it. <laughs> yeah. Can we say it again so it's actually a lot more uh, yeah. TikTokable? What video games could be really good <laughs> animes? Jesus Christ. Do you want me to do it? <laughs> Somebody do it. Jesus All right. Christ. Um, so what video games could be really good animes? Um, so I got the like inspiration me. from... Uh, cyberpunk because cyberpunk was uh really turned that game around too you know i i I will still say it good anime really good anime underrated i don't see a lot i don't see anybody really talk about it i don't even think gans watched it yet no he hasn't i've been sending him a bunch of clips on tiktok lately for some reason i've been getting a lot more cyberpunk stuff um I've i've been off the algorithm of that for a while so I think they um, do good with the characters in that show, but you know it's um, crazy. Yeah. Anyway, how uh, big the low taper fade meme is still like relevant? What are you? <laughs> the ninja has a low taper fade. It's still huge. <laughs> Look again. He gets one barber meme, and he can't stop talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> going to come right. after you. It seems like. All right, let's let's get to this topic. What video games can be really good? Animes? Whoa! Because we're going to start going off on a tangent again. Games hey, only got slow now. your roll, Buster. Brown. So, slow your roll. Games um, got forty said minutes it, left. We so. said it last week. Um, Elden Ring would be an mm-hmm. insane yeah. anime. That'd be ruthless. Be but perfect. would it be too similar to Berserk? Since Berserk. <laughs> is very much heavily have influenced Elden Ring quite a bit. Um I don't think so. I think they could literally yeah. take you it doesn't like Ryo Lucaria, that entire domain, you know, it That's doesn't entire arc right have there. To be all yeah. It's an entire arc right there and it, there's hardly any, you know, um berserk reference yeah. in that area of the map um what about skyrim skyrim from shadow from shadow um i feel like there's just a lot of like medieval animes though and they're just yeah, castlevania around. i think would be a good one <laughs> borderlands i mean sounds a little cliche <laughs> but i mean the art style is still halfway there really halfway there yeah but um, what, it will, so what will it take for us to get all the way there? An anime plot. <laughs> well, the plot's there. I was gonna, I was gonna say Fallout. It just popped into my head. I was like, oh, you know what? The Fallout, Fallout show could, be. Fallout could be. Yeah. Um, try to think outside the Fallout. box. Ratchet and Clank as an anime. Yeah. Jack and De- Dexter. I was more of a Ratchet. I didn't play Jack and Dexter. I played a lot of Ratchet and Clank. Get I loved Ratchet and Clank. Frick. Um, but yeah, Jack and Jack and Dexter too would also be a good one. Um, oh, Bleach. <laughs> you got you got it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you got Bleach it back- be a good video game. It could be uh, we could yeah, flip the video game if they could we do could it flip right. the topic uh, eventually, but um, I'm trying to think of like games that kind of fell on its face when it launched, and then what would give Anthem. it like a resurgence? Anthem, Anthem as an anime, Dead Space, Dead yeah, Space oh, yeah. yeah, that would be that would be a nice horror like oh anime. shit, yeah. Um, yeah. Did you guys um, ever play that game on the PlayStation 2 called Fear? It was a horror game. I've heard of it. I don't ever play it. I think that it. would be a good anime, too. I don't remember the story. I remember I watched my dad play it because I couldn't fucking play it. I'd be too scared. But that would probably be a good one. 
Well, long <laughs> honestly would would be a sweet anime. That'd it's already kind of like heavy in the Japanese or is it Chinese it's, mythology? It's Chinese. Chinese. Okay. Chinese. No, so. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's from China. 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 <laughs> Red Dead Redemption. Either one. I don't think. It would work as an anime. Are you just looking at your yeah. Xbox games list? He is list just looking at his um, <laughs> Sekiro. Sekiro. Sekiro would be hot, actually. Oh, but yeah, we can't, we can't have any kind of nuance towards uh, Japanese culture, though. That's literally all that is. <laughs> anyway. I just think it would be cool because Sekiro, like, he has a, you know, he, like, his arm... It would have like different, you know, weapon abilities and stuff. And I just feel like the story would be better. With Red Dead, though, I just don't see that translating into an anime. Yeah. Attack on Titan 2. <laughs> Imagine if they turned like Tekken into an anime or like Street Fighter. Be sweet. I don't get it. I mean, Mortal Kombat <laughs> no, has more story would... to it. I feel like you could take like the premise of yeah, yeah, that's, that's animated. animated. Mortal Kombat? Uh, they made a Mortal Kombat anime. You know why? Doom. 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 Yeah. Doom I don't guy. see it. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> well, we should like talk about it instead of just like naming video games. Doom literally has like okay. If you would ask like three years ago. If you would have been like, hey, Cyberpunk, imagine that as an anime. Hold on, wait. Before I give this answer, I already I, feel like oh, Okay, this... maybe you're... Oh, dude, come on now. Anyway. Oh, okay, never mind. It does have an anime. I was going to say Devil May Cry. Damn, Devil May Cry has an anime. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or at least an animated series. That is series. a fire anime, actually. I got to check yeah, that out then. super good. It's um, super good. God of War. Yes, Imagine God fire. of War as an anime. Um, you know Wait, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Dead, dead or alive beach volleyball game. Do you guys remember that? Let me look this as up. As an anime? As an anime. <laughs> but it only, it has to be the beach volleyball there you uh, got there game. you got um, that one anime that starts with an A. Dead or alive extreme beach what volleyball. Hi. Hi. Dead or Alive Extreme Beast. Dead Mass Island. Effect. I mean, Dead Mass Island is an okay is an okay game, but I feel like as an anime, Monster Hunter would be sweet. That would be sweet. That'd be pretty cool. And the I reason like that'd be a little generic that is because but... I mean the aesthetic of it. I feel like if you attach the story to the monsters and. Mm-hmm. The char- like you would obviously have to have a main character. And... Yeah, you wouldn't be able to use like I would. I would totally just scrap the characters they have on the game, like the NPCs. I would start a whole new thing. Maybe it's a new guy. Like the main basis of it, like yeah, you're a new monster hunter. You're coming in, but have like all different characters with more of a sustenance to their background. And then, like, have a specialist, of course, where he's like, oh, this monster is this. Yeah. I've been capable of it for a while. And you know? then you would have a cheeky little cat guy that would be your pal. Cheeky for, little and, cat. Yeah, see, dude. Cheeky it's little like, cat it's like guy. Fairy, it's like fairy tale, dude. Yeah. With fairy some hunt, quirky one-liners. With giant weapons. Pal world needs an yeah. anime. Yeah, and like, hey. You, you get, <laughs> hey, I'm going to be hunting over here. <laughs> If you say Power World, no, I'm going to make it. Pokemon? <laughs> Pokemon would lose their shit. Yeah, they would They would actually sue them, I think, at that yeah. point. We're now drawing the line, boys. They've gone too far. Sims? That's... Slice of Life? Yeah, it would be a good <laughs> Slice of Life one, yeah. But it'd be like Sims. Like, it legitimately would be like people just spawn in. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to think of any other like obscure so type funny. of games. Like, what are some other like, maybe not obscure games, but like, not super popular. You know what I mean? Not, not super popular. Um, hmm. look, I'm gonna look here. 
I'm just or like down. not brand new. Oh, dude, um, Warhammer, Warhammer, Warhammer anime would go so hard. That'd Put be cool. Mappa on that right now. Um, did you... scrap everything else? Don't even care about it. No. Warhammer. No, yes. mm-hmm. don't yes. scrap everything out. JJK, Chainsaw Man, you no, we're Strap not scratching. We're, we're not we're scrapping done. it. Very early PlayStation 3 days. Um, this was one of the first PlayStation 3 games I remember playing. Resistance, Fall of Man. I don't know if you guys remember that. Uh, Dealt with like fighting against no. these like alien creature things. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. That's our in anime. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of anything. Rocket League, the anime. No. I'd rather shoot myself in the face. Yeah. I mean, that would kind of be like, what is it? Like Space Dandy or something? Where they race? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It would be like Space Dandy. There's, I, I can see seen a lot like of like Space Dandy. racing Warframe. animes. So, like, when you think about it, there Warframe. hasn't been any really racing Warframe anime since, like, Initial D. So, like, what about, like, Midnight Club or Need for Speed into an anime? Uh, Trey sent me one that was, like, a racing one. It started with an A. I can't remember what it was. Akira Drive or something? I don't know. Oh, Akira is, like, classic. Not Akira, but like, it, was, it wasn't, like, Akira, Akira. Drive. It was... Shakira, the game. You play the pop star. Mm-hmm. Guitar um, Hero, the anime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're just you're just saying. You're just, shit, he's just though. looking through that. That'd be Xbox hilarious. Game. Like if they're all competitors. No, well, like Fortnite, pictures. the anime. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not doing just like cool, like full on, but like imagine there's Fall Guys. It's like they're a background story too. So like they wake up in the morning and they're like. <laughs> You know, and they're like these goofy little dudes, and they're like coming out getting coffee, and they like they don't have mouths, so it just like falls down their face. They're like, yes, ready for What's today. That one game? Goes Dead to the by competitions, daylight. and it's like, I can see that. Um, Dead by daylight. Dead, Dead by oh, daylight uh, as an anime. Among Us. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Fall Guys is a terrible idea, but Among Us is like Among cool. Us, Among yeah. Us, you literally are creating a story. I feel like that's a, I feel you're like just a killing show. people. Look at or it. surviving. Look at up, what show? Yeah, might as well yeah, just do I... Clue. Might as, well just, might as well just do Clue. <laughs> Clue the anime. That'd actually be kind of hard. General Custard or Colonel Custard? General Mustard. That'd be tough. <laughs> or C- strong, Colonel Mustard. Strong, Colonel mustard. devout mustache. <laughs> Would you want me to look up again? Um, if Among Us has an animated show, I feel like they a thing. have. There was people when Among Us was getting like popular. They were saying there's an anime that's like pretty similar to the story of Among Us. Uh, here's an article from Variety <laughs> saying Among Us animated series drops first look teaser image. It's in the works at CBS Studios. Okay, so it's already been done. Thank you, Chase. And that's. Anyways. Destiny, Destiny would be a sweet anime. Destiny oh, would be a sweet anime. That would be a, that'd be pretty cool. It that would, would be. be a cool one. That would be a sweet, cool, super cool one. Maybe even Apex, because they already kind of have like storylines with the characters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. There's this one <laughs> game I played on PlayStation All right, Three. Should we should we change it up? Oh yeah, we yeah we change it up. Yes. Uh Cause I don't want us to be like talking about this for like the next yeah. twenty minutes. Yeah, we, we uh, can talk about it. what animes would make a good <laughs> video on the flip access. Um, Hell's Paradise. I was gonna say there was a Tokyo Ghoul game, but it sucked. If they remade it, it could go so hard. I mean, immediately off the bat, I can think of all, for anime. There's all these different types of the ghoul power that you can get. There's like four. Hmm? Huh? Mm. What was I it? Think, what was that, Pookie? I think my shit's being slow again. It is being slow. It mm-hmm. is. Yep, it took you so long to respond to that. It's crazy because your audio comes through like every couple of minutes and it's like super sped up. 
Mm-hmm. So, do, do you guys remember that game? <laughs> <laughs> Did, okay, PS3? Now it says, You've... now it says trying to reconnect. <laughs> okay. Oh, great. Now you guys remember that game? Because it'll be great. <laughs> Did it really you sound good, that Adrian? fast when Do you it have anything up? running in the background? No, I made sure yeah. there's nothing running in the background. It's just my internet connection is super slow right now. You're over here with the, you're over here with a micro PC, you know, boo, 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 and you can't, you can't stay on. What the fuck am I supposed to do about internet speeds? Go fucking fuck with the t- internet towers myself, like. Yes. Yes. That's literally what you do. <laughs> yes. You go and tear it down. Thanks, Obama. Thanks, Dick Cheney. Thanks. Do you think Humanist people whose names ch- are, oh. who are do you think people who are named Richard enjoy being called Dick? Like, do they, do you think they want to be no. called Dick? Uh, I think maybe I, the boomers did, because they were like, oh, "I am a Dick," uh, but now it's like, <laughs> "Call me Gen Dick." X, they, they don't want it. Why do you want to be called a penis, dude? That's weird. Well, back then, I don't think they were probably using it as the term for penis. I'm sure they were. I definitely go with Richie. I would definitely. That's a better. Go Richie's better. Rich. Or rich. Wouldn't yeah. work if you're poor, though. So I, I'll just stay with Richie. I have a Listen. rich uh, point of view. I have a rich uh, perspective on life, Gannon. You have a rich mouth. All right. Bad, bad superpower. I only have one for you guys this week. Um, so here are your options. You can choose one. Can't choose neither or both. Bad superpower number one. Being able to fully control one bug or being able to partially understand any animal. So you get bits and pieces of what the animal is saying to you. You can't communicate back to the animal. Um, but the bug thing, you can control one singular bug to its fullest capabilities. Right off the bat, I'm taking control of like a hornet or a bee queen. So once you got control of that, you got control of the hive. Yeah. And then I'm running around with my queen bee. I'm running assassinations from there. I'm gonna go get one. I'm gonna go get one of those uh, hawk tarantulas. Mm. The queen. Do arachnids count as? Do arachnids count as insects? He said bug. Yeah, I said bug. Bug. There's a good loophole count as, there okay. when you see bug. I thought he said insect. Okay, I bug. wouldn't count it as a bug. Oh, are we counting it or no? I wouldn't Let me look it. this up. What is oh. <laughs> considered a bug? Let's go off of Pokemon standards. Is there any bug spider Pokemon? Actually, yes. Yeah, okay. So we're there we go. Okay, so... What's name is. Strictly like a... speaking, a bug is an insect in the group Hemiptera. It must have piercing mouth parts. Cicadas Hemorrhoids. are Hemiptera, but spiders aren't. Often, though, bug means they Imagine creepy crawly a in every conversation. Cicada? That would be annoying. Oh, creepy crawly. But that's like an everyday conversation Giant is what it's considered. Tarantula. Mm-hmm. Uh, it refers to land anthropods yeah, with at least six legs, such as insects, one? spiders, and centipedes. Yeah, you know, when you see a spider in your house, and I think it should be off, if it's a bug, it is a very kind of dumbed down way of saying, it's not like, you're not going to have a five-year-old go, Daddy, kill that insect! <laughs> no, they're gonna say, "There's a pie, kill it." Father, eliminate that arachnid, please. I don't. <laughs> Father, Fa- eliminate the arachnid, please, and put it in my dungeon. Daddy, um, I would. I mean, if I'm looking at a 
spider, though. I'm not saying, oh, I'm going to go kill this bug. I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to go kill this spider. I say to anyway, keep it simple, we just guys. say if you think spiders, spiders are... Bug. Just to keep it simple, we'll say spider is a bug. Yeah, all right. And my bug is okay. eating all of your bugs, so... No, my bug's GGs. eating all your bugs. GG's in the chat. I would actually take the no, animal you wouldn't talking wanna... one. I was gonna. I was gonna say you guys wouldn't want to maybe get the bits and pieces of like you know Miko over here. He you know be like feed me, Papa. I would yeah, hear I wanna, feed pop. Yeah, I want to hear. I want to hear what Charlie has to say. What if he's like super racist? Or she? What if she's like super racist? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't like this Puerto Rican man as my father. <laughs> I Puerto Rican don't like it. Why does he look? Why does he look different than Bobby? <laughs> now she's got a posh accent. Why does she look different than Mommy? <laughs> Papa, I mean, why are you different? If, if if you had hold on, wait, if you had like a racist pet. And you found out, like, midway through, like, you having them. Would you then get rid of them? Oh, that's, that would, that's tough, because well, like, I love my dog. Thing, what I love Charlie my dog. was yeah. just, like, ripping you every single day, just calling you I, every single racial slur in the book? I would tr- try to teach her. I would just have to, like, be, like, wrong and deal with it because i can't get rid of her i can't that's my dog that's my best that's my little buddy screw you father (laughs) (laughs) screw you father go back to where you came (laughs) go back to the island with your people once you came be gone for my presence this is a white country (laughs) you mutt Damn, <laughs> calling you a mutt. Oh, how the turns table. <laughs> yeah, that um I'm still probably gonna take the oh wait, no, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna take the uh animal communication one. I was gonna take bug, but then I'm like, I'm not gonna use that ever, I feel like. I don't even like bugs. I'm gonna, like, I hate harass bugs. people out of Yeah, I don't like bugs. I, I, do too. I would maybe if I saw a bug, I'd be like Kill yourself, and then it would kill itself. Oh no, dude! I would be like the world's strongest assassin. I would have a, I would have a black widow. Oh shit! That'd be crazy. You and could just show you know, up to like I events know where they live, and just like attack out your sleeve. Just go. Yeah. Get, get them, get them, my darling. <laughs> Spider. Get there, my darling. <laughs> yes. Today, today, U.S. president or U U.S. congressman dead. Spider bite. <laughs> A couple weeks later. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. US, U.S. congressman dead. Spider uh, bite. Hypothetical, right? Hypothetical. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Kill them all. It's like yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, dude! I could just be like. I could show up to like the council meeting. Sometime. Yeah. Do the old thing. You you should get like a slow release, uh, like venomous bug that you could like you could go into like a uh, like a senate meeting. You could be like talking to them while your little bug is like going around and biting everybody on the stand. I couldn't do a lot of people at once because then I'd get a little suspicious. Turn no, that I mean, into that's an why anime. it's a slow release. It would yeah. <laughs> so it'd be it'd be a slow release, so you would bite them, and then it wouldn't even like it, the venom wouldn't even kick in until after the meeting, and then they the would drop like flies. Literally, I I say you, web, you should like deceit. keep like a you should keep like a box of like different ones, like like a slow release and like a fast release. Like if you're getting arrested, you just release one, like get them real quick. You could be like your uh, character in Fortnite, the bug guy. You could be like exactly. the bug man. I could be him. Bug man. I love that skin. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Top 10, for sure. 
Yeah, I could have. And there's like a whole bunch of different kinds of just freaky bugs that do freaky things. I What's think, the oh, biggest bug? I want to be able to like ride on a big ass bug. I don't think that. Would, I mean, it would have to be like a swarm of them. To me, yeah. by bees. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess you could find the queen and just tell the queen to tell the rest of the hive to be like, carry this human. Do you know how many bees that would take? Take a lot. You gotta, you gotta they, levitate them like the Jesus are, pose. They, they got big bodies that already. <laughs> they got big bodies move around these little wings as it is. Let alone. I can't. Bees or like another insect like carry like twice its body weight. And which didn't I mean, you is, watch the bee movie? Ants. In the B movie, they carried a plane. Is that in the B movie? I don't know. A full yeah. plane? Yeah, uh, when they're when the they're trying to bring the flowers from like whatever I think it was they're trying to bring it from California to somewhere, I don't know. Um and they're the plane is like the pilots get knock themselves out because Barry goes to the front and they're like a bee and they knock themselves out and then they're trying to land it and they don't know how and then all the other bees come out and they're just like well help and then they get under the plane and land it that's not <laughs> creative on jerry's part jerry seinfeld is now barry okay nerd <laughs> nerd you like jazz yeah. yeah uh taking the taking the animal insect for the show yeah i'm taking the control animal. the world with insects <clears throat> all of your animals will be dead <laughs> you've lost all of your power <laughs> I'm not trying to be a superhero but I do have a superpower not if I have anything to say about it <laughs> I will force you into this <laughs> profession that's yeah, one of those Trader Joe's exits you know I don't want to leave on that now. That's going to be <laughs> what I leave on. Well, I can cut it. It's, it's an Aldi exit. Aldi's not in your mouth? Can you, like, phase me, phase me <laughs> out. Phase me out. I will. I'll phase you. Anything phase, you want to say to the people, I'll, I'll put it at the end. Out. Phase me out. <laughs> well, I, I can, you know, I can actually fade you out. I don't, I don't have to. I don't, you don't have to go out like that. Face me out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You got to have him dust away like in Endgame. Okay. Um, yeah, it, I'm getting like reconnecting screens now. I'm not. Uh, I Adrian's too. trying to say something. Maybe we'll run faster. But I was, am, and will always be. Ganon, and this is my grand exit. Peace, love, and prosperity. Bye. Bye. So many technical difficulties. Ganon didn't even, like, say he was leaving. He was just like, bye. Um, But yeah, we're going to have to do the rest of the episode without our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. He's always with us. Ganon. I mean, they use his government, government name, name, but... You gotta bleep out the government name. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bleep it out. I'm just gonna use a fake name for him. Yeah. Faoma. Merlin. Merlin. Bartholomew. Merlin. That's pretty cool. Jeremiah. Anyways, Ezekiel. what do you want to get into? All right. Jesus Christ. We're done with the names. Adrian. <laughs> Uh, we can talk about the, the pet peeves. I know you have them separated. We just do like <laughs> an all media, really. Pet peeves. All media. Like we are an all <laughs> leisure podcast. All media. I feel like I got a, I got a few gripes out there. All right. Start us off. Kick us off, baby. Um, mm, I'll start with anime. Uh, all these like I don't want to say eliminate like these love angles, but like really don't don't force it as a main part of the plot every single like 
corner of the plot. It's just like let some other type of like story develop or like the mass perversion in anime. Fucking stop! I was going to say that. Damn it! I don't need to see a close up of fucking Nami's titties in the middle of a fight. Like, I get, I get, she's got you drew her with tickle bitties, but like she's about to die or something. Like this big attack's about to hit her. I don't need you to see a fucking close up of like her legs and then her. Like, come on, dude, just show Mm -hmm. me the fights. Yeah, I was gonna. I was going to touch on that a little. I was going to take it a step further. I don't like the over-sexualization of children in the anime. Mm-hmm. That shit, that's part of the reason why I don't like watching My Hero. It's like I feel gross watching it half the time. I'm like, these these kids are like literally in school. It's like a school for heroes. I get it. But they're like canonically 15 years old, 16 Mm-hmm. It's weird. I don't like it. Yeah, they make them wear the skimpiest shit, and I'm just like, ah, haven't gotten past season three because of it. I, I, it's a good story. It's I just think, it, you do I'm, have to get past I don't know that. About the seasons. Yeah, it's um, hard. What's another one? And uh, I was also gonna I was gonna touch on your other thing where he said like romanticizing. I think certain animes. I would say Tokyo Ghoul is a much better anime because of the love story with Ken and uh, to- Toka. It makes it so much more compelling of a story. I I can see where they try and force certain lo- romantic relationships with certain characters that just doesn't make sense for the story. It's just kind of, it feels kind of, thrown in there but i do think yeah. a good romance even in a shonen could work out yeah i think i was saying that just because like in shield hero like i'm getting to season three and it's still like hinting at this like potential love angle between like the main character and like the deuterogonist whatever like the second protagonist but like it that in mm-hmm. itself with the show just it's just weird because he buys her as a She's a demi-human slave child. Buys her after he was accused of of Ooh. sexual assault, which is just it's just like what the fuck. But and then because of like the way demi-humans are, when they level up, they just age from like child to adult. So like since she's been an adult, it's been like these little mm-hmm. hints at like the love angle, and it's just like I get it, but like we're in fucking season three now, like. Why is every episode there's like just this le- these little hints at this? Like I don't give a shit. Are, is, is there a love angle or not? Like at this point, you're making it yeah. too much of like the plot when it's I not can see really that. relevant. Um, this yeah. one's this. I feel this like. Pe- uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say seven De- seven deadly sins. I I heard went down that route pretty bad, where they were just forcing romance into it. <sighs> It See, didn't really need it. That, with that, it's the it's weird because the the main plot really is like like Meliodas. Um, I think he's like cursed to like fall continuously fall in love with reincarnations of this one angel. But this one angel is cursed to always keep dying while he's like immortal. So like, I get that that plays pretty heavily just into the main story in general but like i do get that i get it, it it's it's kind of yeah at some point it's like is this all the show is this show just about their love angle or like is this about the seven deadly sins like yeah. um it's uh that's just what i heard there's a lot of people trying to like cancel it because there's like a bunch of weird relationships with like people who are technically like the age gaps for certain people are just like what the fuck yeah it's 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 weird um but steering steering away from the anime for like any type of (laughs) any type of like anime animation uh, live action any anything where there's a voice over stop casting big name actors who have no type of credibility experience or talent within voice acting like Chris Pratt, I'm 
everybody has their opinions on him. I will say he yeah. is a very good actor. As a voice actor, that's just not his fucking avenue. And that's okay. That is okay. Mm -hmm. That's not his avenue. But now they're just trying to force him into yeah. Garfield. They, they force him into Mario. Like, I get it. It's a big name. It's a big name animation. Garfield, Mario. You want to get like a well-known person to voice it. And there, there's a lot of actors who are also good at voice acting and do a lot of animated movies. Like, I know, like, right off the bat, Bradley Cooper has done quite a few voiceovers. Did great as Rocket. Um, fucking. Yeah. There's, there's other actors. I can't think of any off the top of my head. But they, they do a lot of voice acting, too. But it's, like, also, a lot of these actors are just doing their voice for the most part. Like, when you think about, like, voice actors doing animated things, like, you think of... I mean, I think of just, like, the anime voice actors who have done so many different characters, and you can sort of hear the similarity in the voice, but, like, um, I believe it was the guy who played Vegeta made a video once just, like, kind of, like, talking about um, what he does differently between each of the voices for different characters, like, lowering his voice or, like, dumbing down or, like, speeding up or, you know, like that, like... Get more of these people into the voice acting roles. Like, if somebody can do a convincing Garfield, like the original Garfield, I'd rather have that person than Chris Pratt. I'd rather see that name. You know? Yeah. Like, I cool, feel like voice attract... acting in general is very... Uh, it's, all, it's hard enough to get into, and it's very hard to actually mm -hmm. act with your voice. Leave it up to professionals. Don't leave it up to professional actors to try and replicate that because it yeah. usually doesn't mix. I will say with the exception of Robert Pattinson, he fucking killed it in Studio Ghibli. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he actually some... changed his entire voice for the role mm -hmm. and it sounded amazing. Yeah. yeah, actually, though, the that pet peeve doesn't even stem from Chris Pratt. It stems from the Borderlands live action that they're doing. And having Jack Black voice <laughs> Claptrap. Like, I, like I, anybody who's like, oh, yeah. Jack Black's going to kill this. I tell them, like, go and just look up a clip of Claptrap talking. And then just go listen to Jack Black speaking. These are two different, like, octaves. O like, octave levels of voice. Like, just, just that difference alone in that, like, Claptrap is very, like, high-pitched and like whiny and Jack Black has got a very like he, not very deep but he's got a deeper voice like he can't hit that like yeah really whiny type of voice you know and, and it just and also yeah. stop casting big name actors into roles just because they're a big name start casting people into roles because they fit that role Again, the Borderlands live mm -hmm. action. I know I've talked about it before. It just pisses me off that, like, cool, you got Kate Blanchett, you got Kevin Hart, you got Jack Black. None of those people are fucking fit for any of the fucking roles that you're casting them for. Roland wasn't a 5'4 fucking funny guy, all right? He's, he's supposed to be this taller, imposing, more serious figure that's supposed to hold together this, like, little the resistance group within Borderlands 2 that you know you end up becoming like a part of whatever Kate Blanchett great actress she's not fit to play a 20 something year old fucking fe like her powers are like a fucking phoenix like it's supposed to be it's just like a younger character and you got like 50 something year old Kate Blanchett like cool like the red hair she kind of looks like it how are you gonna have fifty-year-old Kate Blanchett character? Doing, I would like, have liked to see shit? Reba in that. <laughs> yeah, she would have killed it. <laughs> yeah, like uh, I know. I have another pet peeve for. Oh, no, go ahead because I'm gonna keep sorry. Rant. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't like slow burn movies. Stop making them. What do you mean by slow burn? Movies that are unreasonably long just so they can feel more pretentious. Oppenheimer, The Irishman, The Batman, the Batman 
cut some shit out dude Dude. like there's no reason i would say batman isn't necessarily a slow burn because there isn't enough action but there's just some movies that take so long and are just so boring it's just like Dude. But they are critically acclaimed for being like these, you know, great cinematic masterpieces. But it's just like we could really cut off some of the fluff. You know and some of them are movies too. Some of them are just too long. I don't know. Maybe it's just my brain rot talking. Yeah. But uh, what are some other pet peeves? Uh, Um, oh, if a character dies in real life, uh, I'm okay with you just killing them off in the show, too. I don't like them trying to re- replace that because then it takes away from the accomplishments of the person who was previously in that role. Um, I just feel like it, it find a way to like in their story in the show or in the movie or, you know, whatever, um, find a way to sunset that so they can sunset they that way it's just like people would always just try and compare each other to and it's just like it's unfair because the person yeah. is dead and it's not fair for the person who's replacing them because then they're also being criticized for like oh my god like so and so was so much better it's like maybe they were but it's like still it's just like it, it puts everybody in a bad situation just you know yeah. The, the only place that the only place that works is like any voice acting. You can, I mean, as as sad as it I was, I was even say, talk, I would fucking what was I going to say? As sad as it sounds to say, like uh, <laughs> voice voices can be like replaced. Like you can find somebody else that can do that type of voice because it's really only the voice that's that died with that person. Like it's the difference between like um, I think it was the main voice actor for the for the main character in shield hero passed away in 2022. That's like a little different than if like Tom Cruise passed away after like the third mission impossible or something like, or like uh, what, what's a long running yeah. show. Like if um, the chick who played Fiona, like in shameless passed away in like season three, like in the middle of it, like can't really replace that. Mm-hmm. That's a whole character. Yeah. Uh, I was I was gonna even with voice acting, I'm still not OK with it unless they can match their voice perfectly. They don't try and change it up too much. Mm-hmm. Like I, I liked how uh, the voice actor for Iroh and Avatar, he passed away and then his brother took over. I like that. I didn't know That's that. fine. It didn't didn't sound the same. I, it didn't sound the same. But to me, at least. But yeah, that's what happened. His brother took over, tried to match his voice. It wasn't accurate. It wasn't great. Um, But I still appreciate that. Recently, the voice actor for. uh, uh, Fuck, I forget his name. He was in Destiny. Uh, He was the main Titan guy. He passed away. The voice actor. Oh, I know you're talking about. Oh, I know that actor. I know you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, he was in other stuff, um, but uh, I don't. They replace his voice actor, and I just, I'm just like, maybe just send them off. You know, you killed off Clyde or Cade, Clyde, Cade, uh, in Destiny, and then brought him back randomly. I just, I saw that. I was like, what the fuck? Why did you do that? Uh, Lance Reddick. That's that. I just feel like maybe kill off the character. Lance Reddick was the guy who played the Titan. Uh, and rest, rest in peace, obviously, but it's just like, rest in peace. I just, I don't like them because it's, it's almost like they're just, it just feels muddy to me. I'm just like, oh, I know this person isn't actually there anymore. So it just feels empty. The character now feels empty to me. And I, I, I feel like we should move on from the character and introduce somebody new. I don't know. Yeah. My my pet peeve. Yeah, I think that's really it. For, I mean, I got to really think deeper for more pet peeves, but I'm not doing that now. Uh, I got one more. We didn't. I, it was included in the topics for games. Uh, we didn't touch on any games. 
<laughs> my pet peeve for games is if there's a open world game and they just fill the open world with a bunch of tedious, stupid shit to just like keep you busy. That's annoying. It's just busy work. Actually take time and craft something that's I'm going to be entertained with and I can actually feel comfortable playing for hours like if you're going to give me an open world give me like either nothing if you have nothing really substantive to offer or just don't make it like a big open world make it more confined and uh consolidated that way it just feels a lot more natural and a lot more yeah yeah better. like no man's sky no man's sky is like that yeah and the uh, yeah, Starfield too. Like when you land on a planet, there's just nothing there. Yeah, I would get, there is I would some get like they, but they, yeah, there. It's just so spread out too. So it's like, and then once you get to that spot, it's nothing. There's just it's just stupid. Or maybe some enemies to fight. That's dumb. I don't like. It. Yeah. Make games better again. Make games great again. Put that on a t-shirt. Put that on a red hat. Trump. Put that on a red hat. Every time I see a red hat now, it, I I like do a double take. I'm just like, wait, mm-hmm. what? Yeah. It's kind of like the Hitler mustache. If you see somebody with a Hitler mustache, you're like, oh fuck! Like, it's a, a, when you, I see that, I'm like, oh. I'm like, what? What made you choose that? Yeah. I don't. I don't have red hats anymore. I used to have a bunch because of my high school was their main color was red and now i don't <laughs> i have Where? one i have one red hat and that's the red hat i had for being part of the flying squad on my ship which just means i was one of the first people that responded to any like emergency like right away like on the scene mm-hmm. that's the only red hat i have that holds importance all right well i think we're at time do you want to close her out yeah, let's close her out. Oh, Gannon usually does it. Do you want to do it or should I? Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, <laughs> you okay. can find us on all streaming platforms. I'm talking the YouTubes, the Spotify's, the Apple Podcast, anywhere you can find podcasts. You can find us on the TikToks. We have an Instagram, you know, so find us there. We got the Patreon. That is only $3 a month. That is not really supporting anything that's just only three dollars that's just giving us a little something you know supporting just a little us. something on the side you know um uh yeah that's it that is it um sorry ganon couldn't be here he was off dealing uh, what was ganon doing again I, I he told us before he left but then he he might have told out. you I, I didn't know what he had to leave for uh, I'm coming up with something funny, Adrian. We gotta come up with something funny. Uh, dick enhancement and surgery. That's what he said. He was getting a dick enhancement surgery. He's 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 claimed that he's had this hog since birth, and we he he asked us for like a consultation he showed us and i was like dude that is nowhere near a fucking hog that's like a fucking uh pinky toe you know and it's just like maybe you need to go uh see somebody about that because in this world in this economy you need a hog even indeed. you ladies indeed you need a hog or a hog mentality Big dick energy. But that's it. Uh, well, if that's all that you have to say, Chase, uh, that is all we have for today's episode of the Something Original Podcast. My name is Adrian. Gan is not here. He says bye. And I'm Chase. You know what's the <laughs> always be Chase. I don't. I don't even know how to stop it. Just we just got to cut it off here now. <laughs> uh, b- bye. <laughs>